So today's um, March 12th. Um, we're mostly stuck at home here in the U.S. Um, I finally had some time to check on my uh, cuttings. Um, these been stored, and uh, these come from trades, or uh, like the one on the right is uh, from Harvey. Um, we have to buy it in, um, let's see, yeah. January. And then for us, uh, some of us choose to root them right away, um, and then some of us choose to wait a little longer. Um, I rooted some, and now I'm gonna wait a little bit longer. We uh, we had our second frost just yesterday. Um, a lot of more frost damage from the trees outside. But uh, even when we store uh, fake cuttings, in our fridge, um, I usually use the lowest drawer to keep them separate from my food. Um, I, I put these in another zip bag with a label on it uh, so I can s know what they are. Um, I do not individually write names on them. I, I don't have time, but uh, I do like it when I receive <laughs> ones with the uh, names on it. And um, if I had more time, I would love to do that when I s send out for others, but uh, Unfortunately, I don't have enough time. Um, so you can see, I'm trying to compare about, um, you know, what is the best method of preserving. And this is a good way to to understand because these been in the drawer mm, six weeks. Um, this has been wrapped by paraffin. Ah, professional paraffin person. Mine won't look this good. <laughs> uh, these are the best I feel like um, <clears throat> and if they weren't in proper storage um, I have a feeling this would slowly come loose this is much better than the saran mat wrap um, I can tell from looking inside uh, it is a if I were to open this let's look up close I'm trying to avoid opening it you can see there's no wrinkle in the cuttings itself. You can see it was not affected by uh, staying in my fridge for long, but these have a little bit. Um, they are not dead. You know, you know once we cut the, the ends off, there's no rotting and molding, um, but they, I would say, aren't the best for long storage. Uh, Sometimes we gotta wait, you know, um, like six weeks or two or three months before we can root them or grab them, whatever. Um, these will last the longest, based on this year of my understanding. Um, these, and then you put it in some kind of Ziploc or plastic bag, they'll last the best. Um, these, they're, they're okay, but uh, not the best. Uh, compared to paraffin. Paraffin does a much better uh, job once wrapped properly. Hmm? Yeah. Um, do a better job. Uh, second, some that wasn't even wrapped in paraffin, some was just in my Ziploc, uh, they develop um, some concentration and I have to dry it off. And there was no mold or anything, but if I were to forget about them and, and expect that, oh, they are in my fridge and they'll be dry, you know, um, they won't. They will start to mold. So you have to keep an eye. But this, I didn't do anything. And it's still quite a very excellent high quality. So what I'm saying is, um, if these were uh, prepped correctly, and even if you receive cuttings, if you prep them correctly, you can store it in the fridge for a long time until you're ready to graft or root. Um, and if not, you have to keep an eye on it and make sure they don't develop any water in the bag, uh, in the fridge. Um, if you don't, uh, if you start seeing it, you, won't, you want to take them out of the bag, dry them off, uh, maybe spray a little hydrogen peroxide, let it dry and then put them back in. Uh, and if you have time, wrap all of them in paraffin. It's expensive, it's time consuming, but um, it will keep 
the best quality and preserve um, the fig uh, from drying out the best. Um, I just wanted to share my method of storage and uh, what I found to work best um, in that sense.